Greetings, YouTube. Brian has done what would be impossible for so many of us. Start recording from level 47 and see what his first 11 five-star champions and I believe first six-star are over the course of his account. He's put everything together and it's a little bit longer of a video than usual, but when you put this much work and time and effort into showing what it's like to grow an account from the very start of your non four star journey, I think it's worth commentating, even if it's a 10 minute video instead of a five minute video. So, obviously, if you are one of those people that just skips ahead to see what it is, and so be it. But I appreciate those of you that watch every second, especially because the people who commentate these are, I should say, submit these to be commentated always like to have uh, their videos watched in full. And that is a Namor as maybe your first five star. That's the first one in the video, which is an awesome first pull. Okay, so let's check this out. Wow, indeed. Forgot to record, but this was the first ever five star crystal. And that was Annihilus. First five star Nexus from server maintenance a long time ago. He's jumped all the, all the way to level 53 at this point. I don't know if this guy's free to play or not. I don't see the black ISO store icon by his uh, profile pic. So, uh, okay, here we go. What an exciting thing to open a Nexus with so many champions you don't have. And Black Widow, Clairvoyant, look at that. You knew basically it was going to be a guarantee that all three champions were going to be new. But what an amazing start to your account. Cold Corn Dog. Well, I call you Brian, but I can call you cor Cold Corn Dog. <laughs> it's a really, it's a baller name. First five star Nexus. So clearly he went uh, with Black Widow Clairvoyant, right? Uh, server maintenance. How long ago was that? I'm going to have to try to remind myself of that. Man, that's exciting. That is so very exciting. Okay, so now we have our first dual class crystal of the mutant and skill variety. And this is over the course of at least six months. It might be closer to a year, but I think it's safer to say six months than a year. I don't want to over-exaggerate the, uh, the time it took, but who knows? I don't, server maintenance? Wasn't that at least six months ago? I mean, who knows? Maybe this could be like eight months ago. We're going to say six months just to be conservative, but... It's a lot of crystal shards, and some of you might be watching this being like, it took him so long to form a five-star. Well, that's just normal. I hear from uh, summoners every night on live streams particularly that ask the question, Prof, how, how do I get more five-star shards? Because it's so hard for me to open a five-star crystal. It takes weeks, sometimes over a month, to open one. And people in my position, even though I don't do Alliance War, I still have an opportunity to open a five-star, sometimes almost daily, but especially weekly. And then, of course, six stars, the ones I open maybe once or twice a month. Uh, we have a Ronin. That is a solid pull. Mr. Hawkeye Ronin, not Ronan. Sorry about this one. First part of the crystal opening just disappeared. It's all good. Red Mags. I thought for sure that was going to go to Crossbones. This is one of those pulls that, if this was a year ago, certainly more than that, you'd think, ugh. That sucks. But now, it's one of the best pulls in the game. Kabam really did Magneto right. All right, the free featured five-star from the legendary treasure hunt. little nostalgia going back with discussing some of the best side quests we've ever seen in the game, which are far less confusing than the one we had in January, for sure. All right, what's this one going to be? The old, old featured five star. This is the one that um, I didn't have a chance to hunt the dad bod as much as I would have liked before it went away because right as I was starting that hunt this crystal was kind of winding down in the store. All right let's see if he gets somebody great. This was a great crystal. I love this featured five star and wasp is is solid. I wish she wasn't such a glass cannon champion where she basically can't take a hit but she's good. She's good. All right, so about halfway through the pools. New is risky, but went for doom. Doom or gloom? You tell me. 
You tell me. And when you say you go for Doom and it's one dual class crystal, it's like me going for Red Guardian. Not gonna happen, but... So you're saying there's a chance. And I do believe that we have fast forwarded enough in the game to where Red Guardian is now in this crystal. If he gets Red Guardian before me, he's just gonna join. There, there's the dad bot, everybody else besides me that has him. And Doom, oh no, bro, that sucks. Ugh, yuck. Oh man, welcome to the world of the troll roll. So he is back at it again. Hit the bottle again for Dr. Doom. Let's see what happens. There's the Red Guardian again. I haven't seen that guy in the reel for a long time. And, ooh. In between two of the best champs in the game, certainly in the science class as well, Quake and Void. Instead, he gets somebody that you want to Astro Evade for as long as possible. I hate Mordo so much. I hate using him on offense. Just not my cup of tea at all. Would make me switch to Decaf. All right, now we got that five-star crystal still level 55 he's had a lot of really solid champs to start out his account obviously he wasn't starting out starting out because he was level 47 when he opened his first five star but uh you never know maybe you can get dr doom from this that happened to me once still haven't awakened him you just never know the rng is so weird for me to have awakened Aegon and Dr. Doom as six stars before getting them as five stars. It's just stupid luck that makes zero sense. But I'm not complaining. I'll take it. Uh, Karnak. God, I hate that champion too. Karnak and Mordo are, are like two of the bottom five champs I hate to use. And the fact that you have to use multiple classes to rank up this guy. And people are like, but it's comic book accurate. I don't care. It's annoying. Regardless of how accurate it is. Oh. Okay, so is... That was... Random? Is like his platinum pool going to be? Okay, first ever six star. This is so realistic so far. He had incredible luck with the Nexus getting Black Widow clairvoyant, but then also some really bad trash luck between Karnak and Mordo and rolling over Doom to get Rhino. I predict he'll probably get a pretty bad champ in this. We've seen a lot of like first time lately uh, juggernauts. And Inferior Iron Mans and Mordos and uh, Kingpins, the wrong version of Captain Marvel, University of Phoenix, The Alcoholic, Howard the Suck, you name it. All right, what's up, Stealth Spidey? What's up, Hulkbuster? Cole Sunspot? No way! Are you serious? I have never seen that. Good for you, man! Wow! For your first six star to be Sunspot, that's incredible. First one of this crystal. Is that a featured cab or a grandmaster? I'm seeing a lot of three stars on this. First one of this crystal. I don't know what this is, but we're committed to commentating it. Maybe it's a holiday crystal? Maybe? And... Well, happy holidays to you. Happy Hanukkah Marv. God, I love Home Alone references. Well, it's tough to go from like, six star sunspot, venom pool. <laughs> But this is such an interesting, now he's up to level 56, interesting snapshot of how much an account can change in six months. Maybe, maybe a little bit more than that in this game, but about six months. Uh, you couldn't open this many crystals in two, three years, two or three years ago. So it is amazing to, to think about how far the game has come, and, and that is largely to, to Kabam's credit. All right, dual class. 
And my Abyss MVP landed on Heimdall, rolling over two of the best champions of those two classes as well, Medusa and Dark Hawk. How much we got left? 11 seconds. I figured that was the last crystal I didn't count it in my head. Well, there you have it. Let's uh, see. So, by the end of this, from zero five stars to Namor, Black Widow, Clairvoyant, Red Mags, Ronin, Annihilus, Wasp, Mordo, Karnak, Heimdall, and Venompool. Now we just got to probably talk about your mastery setup, buddy. Since the end of this opening, I've opened 30 plus more five stars and two more six stars. If you all want to see that, I'll be glad to put that together. Thanks, Prof. Well, thank you. And I guess that's a little unexpected teaser for the end of this video. It's almost 11 minutes, so we better end this here. Uh, thank you so much for the submission, Brian. And uh, congrats on all your great pulls. Sunspot is a six star for the first time. Incredible. High five. Way to go. That's awesome.